Staying with News 3, the head of the town of Madison Police Department is defending his decision tonight to hire a former police chief connected to a controversial video. You may remember former DeForest Police Chief Dan Furseth resigned from his position in August, several months after a video surfaced on YouTube. Our Rose Schmidt has been following this story since the beginning and tells us what's next for Furseth, Rose. Yeah, that's exactly right. Furseth is now training to be a part-time officer with the town of Madison, which may surprise some people. Given that first as new boss is also the head of an organization who issued a very public statement calling out his actions just two months ago. He wants to continue being a cop. Former DeForest Police Chief Dan Furseth is in his 50s. He's not ready to retire yet. He thinks he still has more he can provide to law enforcement. And I believe him. But now Chief Scott Gregory is bringing him onto the town of Madison police force part time. And obviously, um, you know, the elephant in the room is the video that he did 11 years ago. This video surfaced on YouTube in May. Oh, baby, I got a call on my umpala. First, Seth was placed on administrative leave and then resigned in August. Was the video wrong? Absolutely. If he did the video six months ago, I would not have hired him. Months of investigations into him and his entire department followed. The village found four other counts of misconduct, including that he failed to address harassment claims. Chief Gregory is also the president of the Dane County Chiefs of Police Association, which wrote a letter in August saying, quote, we condemn racism in any form. Of course, racism does not belong in law enforcement. But Gregory says he believes in second chances and he's hoping the town of Madison community will too. But it's a move raising questions with Madison Mayor Paul Soglin. He says he's, quote, disappointed by the decision. The city is on track to annex the town of Madison in 2022. And Sagan says hiring new people makes the transition process more difficult. But Gregory says first that's experience factored into his decision, and so did his attitude. Would you say he's remorseful? Without question, he's remorseful. Absolutely. I asked the chair of the town of Madison if he supported Chief Gregory's decision to hire Furseth. He said yes, and that he's aware of Furseth's prior history, but not offered no further comment. Gregory says all officers have to wear body cameras, so his actions will be monitored closely. He'll also be sending Furseth to a training on working with the Hispanic population, and he's looking into sending his whole staff to subconscious bias training for police. Rose, thank you.